Hi everybody, welcome back to class. As always, this video is also being shared with the students in Mike Cooney's English 111 online class, so we'll welcome those folks as well. We are getting close to the end of the semester, and I know you're happy about that, and I am too. As I've mentioned before, I'm taking classes myself, and my semester is nearly over. I think we all have a little bit of spring fever as well. Before we get into class session 13, I want to take a look at some of the things that are posted on the announcements page. I'm sure you saw these, but just in case, I want to talk about them because they are important. There are two items. Number one, the class survey. Everyone will be receiving a survey regarding this class by Wednesday, April the 15th. Two things about this. Number one, it's important that you complete the survey. Number two, it's important that you be as honest as possible. If you like the class, you think it was worth your time, go ahead and say that. If you didn't like the class, well, I need to hear that too. And all of these surveys are anonymous, and I do not see the results until well after this class is over. So if you want to downgrade me, if you want to say something about anything in the class, maybe you didn't like these videos, go ahead and weigh in with your opinion. It is important. The second thing I want to point out is an announcement I put out last week about free tutoring help through tutor.com. As it mentions, you can access this from the Blackboard homepage. It's under the Tools menu. I won't show you this because my Blackboard page doesn't look exactly like yours and it would be too cumbersome to find it. But the best part about this, especially since we're getting ready to work on and finish the final essay, is that you can send them a draft of what you've written and get turnaround time on it under 24 hours. They'll send back a draft, send back your draft, with comments and suggestions about how you can make this better. I don't know why you wouldn't use this. First of all, it's free. Second of all, the turnaround time's only 24 hours. That's really good. Now right now, I'm a graduate student in English at IU, as I've mentioned before. I use our writing center. When I write a draft, first of all, I proofread it myself. Second, I give it to somebody else I'm not normally associated with so they can read it, tell me what makes sense, help me clear up the language. But before I turn it in, I also send it to our writing center to get yet another set of eyes to look at it. You should do the same, especially since the last essay is coming up, and especially because the last essay is worth the most in terms of your grade. And it's free. Take advantage of this. Let's take a look at the class session and see what we have to do today. Of course, we're in session 13 out of a 16-week course. So just a few sessions yet to go. And let's see what we have to do for this week. Here are the learnings and, and objectives. Of course, you'll read those later. You have one chapter in the textbook to read, making arguments in popular discourse. That's pretty good. They're asking you to review chapter 11. I believe you've already looked at that once before, but it's a refresher about making a persuasive appeal. This is important because your final paper that you're writing for this course is a persuasive paper. You're no longer trying to state both sides of an argument. You're trying to convince someone that your argument is, argument is correct. Of course, we're only going to work on steps one through six for now. We'll finish off the final steps next week. And we have a discussion board that we are completing, excuse me, that we are starting and we will complete in session 14. And you're turning in the first draft of writing project four. So let's take a look at the learning activities. And here are steps one through six. This will 
obviously look very familiar. These are the same steps, not exactly the same, but largely the same steps we follow in every writing project. As I mentioned before, you're writing about the same issue you wrote for writing project three. You don't have to pick a new topic and you can probably reuse or recycle many of the sources that you used the last time. If you're happy with them, why go out and find new ones? So first step is to explore the topic and remember the goal of this paper is to persuade an audience. But first, you need to decide who your audience will be. Now many of you have already completed this in your outline and you did a good job with it. Remember when you're writing your essay, at least the first draft, remember who you're writing it for. Is it a public audience outside an academic setting? Is it a specific group of people? Depending on who your audience is, you're going to want to tailor your argument to reach those folks. And here are some questions to consider that will help you define the audience. Notice it says what you write in step two, that is your situational analysis, which you have to submit along with your first draft. So when I read your draft, I know who you're trying to convince. And I'll be looking to make sure that the type of argument you're making is going to be effective for that audience. Step three, let's write a draft. Your first draft should be 1,250 words. That works out to be about four and a half to five pages. That's a lot, and these writing assignments have gotten progressively longer as we've gone on. Your final draft will be 1,500 words, which I know it does sound like a lot, but I think everyone here is capable of it. Of course, we're only using MLA style, as we always do. By the way, I'm writing a paper in one of my classes right now. I haven't finished my draft, although it's coming up very soon that I have to turn in my draft. It's at 43 pages. I'm not saying that to get sympathy from you. I'm saying it could be worse. Step four, refine your thesis statement, keeping in mind what it is you're trying to prove and the audience you're attempting to make this proof for. Step five, begin the first draft. I bet many of you, because you wrote about the same subject in writing project three and because you have an outline, I think putting this draft on paper should be fairly easy. I'm not saying it's not gonna be time consuming, it will be but it should be fairly easy because you have a good idea of what it is you want to say. And then the last step in steps one through six, write your draft and turn it in. And of course, as with all our writing projects, you'll be turning it in for peer feedback. You'll also get feedback from me so we can help you improve it. Let's go back to the class session. Looks like that's all there is under learning activities. So let's take a look at the assignments and assessments, many of which we've just referenced. For this session and the next one, 13 and 14, there is a discussion board regarding evidence and support. In your initial post, you're only going to include one of your main supporting claims. Your essay likely will contain many more than that, but I want you to pick one and pick your strongest one. Make a claim. From your supp uh, main supporting claims and write a paragraph using at least one of the persuasive appeals discussed in chapter 11. That's the chapter you were asked to go back and review. And here are examples from the text of three different types of appeals, ethical, pathetic, and logical. And notice it gives you a form to follow when you write your discussion post. You should include 
claim and evidence from the working outline. You can cut and paste it. A paragraph for the draft. What type of appeal you are using. And your post should be about 200 words. And that's it. In session 14, we'll be responding to one another. But for this week, just get this in. You don't have to do it this way, but it may be easier if you spend time now working on your draft, not to the point where you're turning it in, but working on your draft, rereading it, finding which of your claims is the best, the strongest, the best supported, and then put it into the discussion board. And then we have the first draft of the writing project course make sure you've covered steps one through six before you turn it in. You're going to turn it into two places here session 13 and on the discussion page. And make sure you include your situational analysis with the draft so I know who you're trying to persuade and what your appeal is going to be. We'll be reading these in session 14 but that's getting a little too far ahead right now. And largely, that's it. There's less to do this time because I want to make sure that you have as much time as possible, as much time as necessary, to dedicate to writing your draft. It's pretty important. The draft is the basis of a good essay. And this isn't in the steps, but once you've finished your draft, go ahead, look up tutor.com on the tools menu. Go ahead and send it to them. Let them take a look at it. They may help you fix a lot of things that none of us is capable of seeing. I've mentioned this before, but we all tend to write the way we speak, and we don't notice our own little quirks in the speech that we use because we've heard our own voice our entire lives. But someone else with a fresh set of eyes reading it will catch things you didn't even know you said. All of us do this, including me. It's very difficult to read objectively something you've written yourself. And that appears to be it. Once your drafts are posted, I'll review all of them. I'll make comments on them and get those back to you as quickly as possible to help you improve your draft. This video is being recorded on Monday, April 13th, so I have not yet graded your working outlines. I'll be doing that very soon and get those back to you as quickly as possible to help you improve this process. As always, reach out to me. You can call me anytime at 800-416-1747. If you want to send me a text, it's 812-498-4200. If you want to drop me an email, M-S-T-E-N-G-E-R and the number 1 at Ivy Tech. My alternate email address is M-S-T-E-N-G-E-R at MetLife, M-E-T-L-I-F-E dot com. So far, great work, everybody. I've enjoyed having you in the class. The end is near. Let's make a strong push to the finish. Call me if you need me. Have a good day, everybody.